All right, let's see. Uh, I should probably close my. Should probably close my door. Actually, I've done a logo, and I need to give it that hand-drawn feel. Um, look at this. That's before I started messing with it. So this is all still vector artwork, which means it's infinitely scalable. Um, so all, all good logos should be infinitely scalable. Make them as big as a bus, as small as a postage stamp, it should still work. But they don't always. And that you should insist on that if you're getting a logo made. <laughs> Let's see. My remote is not set up to work with Illustrator. Let me turn this so it gets over here. I'm using a standing desk today because Yeah. Oh, and I'm setting timers for every 30 minutes. When the 30 minute mark hits, I'm gonna do one exercise or another i've got a list because sitting is the new smoking supposedly so it's not as fun as smoking kids don't smoke um, years I didn't know you could actually draw like with a, a pen in Illustrator I wonder if I should do this this way Yeah, normally you don't get to actually do drawing with a logo. You have to actually create it with a pen tool and whatnot. Um, and whatnot. And whatnot. Listen to more rock and roll today because I got so tired again still of that uh, stream beats, typical music for streams and it just couldn't do it, couldn't do it anymore. There's an imperfection inherent to anything anyone draws. I especially have a shaky, shaky hand, uh, which is, you know, why I move really quickly with my art, just to try and kind of mitigate the, the shake. Um, but you know, anything you know done by hand is going to look different than something that is just rigidly built. Like a lot of these lines were created very rigidly. And so it's a little bit more appealing to something like this, where it's the trades, where it's, you know, very kind of rough feeling and visceral to have something actually hand drawn.
I gotta find a wrench. A wrench. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. It's been a second since I've seen a pipe wrench. Oh, okay, so... Yeah. Gosh, I've got to be coming up on my stream anniversary soon. I don't know how to really tell. But it was about this time last year that I started streaming off and on different, you know, different platforms. Before that, I was only a YouTuber. And now I've pretty much just forsaken YouTube. Not really, but... I, need, I have this video that I have to do the next one in the series I just can't bring myself to edit it which is dumb because I really did like that for a long time because I'm uh, reading I'm narrating never ending story be real I mean sometimes it's hard to get out of bed in the morning uh, when you when you work really hard on content like like art and whatnot and uh, um, my stupid standing mat is moving too much you work hard and you get a few hundred views and you get some you know some interaction and you really enjoy that kind of interaction at least I do and it's fine I'm not in it for a bunch of views or anything I'm in it to to show that I can ship things for clients who wonder you know is this guy able to finish a thing and ship it it's just kind of continual proof that I can do that but it's hard when you do all this work and some kid makes 20 million dollars a year opening toys on his feet and that's that's hard that's, yeah. It's like, okay, I could start opening toys, but honestly, I don't think anybody would watch me. I don't know what the X factor is that this kid has, but there's a kid who makes millions of dollars a year of people watching him open toys. If somebody could please tell me why, <laughs> why that actually works, that'd be great. Because frankly, I'm not motivated motivated by money, but sometimes that is hard. I'm really not motivated by money, which is kind of why I'm not a very good business person. Because I'll forget to bill stuff for the longest time. I won't bill it properly because I don't. I don't want to say I don't care, but you know, I don't understand some of the regulations people have you know I'm preparing a invoice and I get all confused I'm like man wouldn't it be nice just to be able to do this crap and not have to whoops not have to jump through these hoops
really sounds like I'm bitter, but I'm not. Today is a very positive day in my mind. I feel, I feel pretty dang good. I woke up kind of energized and excited and not knowing what I was going to do. Honestly, I didn't know what project I was going to work on. And, and that's, you know, kind of not a great feeling, but it was because <laughs> I got a lot to do. Um, and some of them are pretty fun. Like, this is a pretty fun job, making this kind of logo work and make it look like it was drawn a little bit more by hand. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it 100% drawn by hand. But you can see that adding these little lines to it, it's every, it's fun every once in a while to watch. So I, this is where I'm at with this thing. But turn off the hand-drawn bits, and it just looks kind of robotic and less. I don't know. It's it's missing that little bit. It's missing the hand-drawn feel. So boom, with, boom, without. Oh, it's encouraging to see that it actually works. And encouragement is good. <clears throat> let's, let's zoom in a little. When, I don't know any of you other artists out there, do you ever get pain right here? Like in this, not joint, but in the ligament right here? If I push on it, it actually hurts more. So maybe I shouldn't do that. kind of cool to make like a series if I was into making like series it'd be kind of cool to take um, wow those are bad lines um, take like well-known brands like like coke and McDonald's and do their logos by hand you know change it up so that they have this kind of rough maybe even a woodcut look That's another thing it's cool to do is zoom out. Look at all those chains that I built. Different configurations for. There's the other logo I have to do. So, I mean, between the two, even having them on the same, on the same kind of view together, I think, I think it is an improvement. And when I, when I talk him through it later on, he'll be happy. There is a little bit of white that I'd like to do in here. Sometimes it's cool to add some white. Because all of this is black thus far. Those lines will work. I think that kind of thing will. Oh yeah, I think he'll be happy. If you can't tell, this is for the Union, the UA, local 118. Surprise. Been working with the, uh, you know, the, I think the business manager or president. I can't remember what they're called. And the, the logo that, that they use, and many, many unions use, very kind of old and traditional. So they don't get updated, they get um, kind of stale feeling. So this is a way to get that traditional feel, but, you know, it can be reproduced and used a little bit easier. 
That's the problem with old stuff is they're like JPEGs or whatever, and they're impossible to use. You, they, you blow them up and they turn into like crazy big pixelated mangled bits. And, <clears throat> and if you're not excited about your brand, if you're not excited about showing off the, like the union logo in this case, then you won't use it. And then your brand flounders and flounders, is that the word? Flounders and dies? I think flounders is the word. But this part is the kind of fast part. Actually building all of this took a couple days of, of kind of constant work. Ugh. I don't know why I like this font so much. I use this for too much. Oh, here, I was going to show you, this is a bunch of single elements, but like I used some of them on here, um, but this is, this I think is the 100% done, finished, finished back of the card, and yeah, it's hard for me to say, finished, but I think it works, I, mean, uh, I was able to draw into it a little bit more, um, but yeah, those are the four representative kind of icons, the exemplars of the suits. Uh, upper left being hearts, upper right being clubs, spades in the lower left, and diamonds in the lower right. So I think it'll look nice. I, I've darkened it all up, not just in, you know, a bunch of skulls, but I darkened it up as far as like the mood. This background is, uh, the scaly background is all dark now. So I'm going to close that though. Just a couple lines. I don't want to make it unreadable, but because if you put too many lines in here, once again, it's it's more about the hand feel that the somebody touched everything type of thing. Well, Thirteen minutes until I my next exercise. We'll see what I should do. I don't have any hand weights with me. I thought about doing that today because my shoulders are feeling weak. Um, this feels sort of like a woodcut, if you know what that is. Girl, you make me suffer. I'm addicted to you. What? Probably should move this onto the screen where you can actually see it. I'm gonna rotate this because the arc is... Oh. Can I not rotate on this? freaking enough software oh I forgot why it's been a long time let's uh no that's fine I'll just I'll do it the hard way step away from this one and do the other one see I think that looks good I think that looks sharp it's kind of yeah 
Kind of vintage looking. See how stale this one is? Alright. It needs some hand drawn attention. Hey, Sheila Mars. Hey, is it Sheila Marcella? Mars. She Sheila. Hey, it's actually a raid. Oh my gosh, I didn't get the notification. Thanks, guys, for the raid. That's amazing. That's like so awesome that B42 would pay any attention to a lowly artist as myself. So if you guys don't know me, well, I sure appreciate it. <laughs> hey, Poxers is back. I know Poxers. Okami. Thank you for being ultra neon and the follow. Uh, if you guys don't know me, my name is Bob Crumb, as the name suggests, and I draw things. Right currently, I'm working on client work. This is like super stale looking and boring, and so like the current emphasis today is to do this kind of thing. Look it. I'm gonna do a before and after for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. boom. That's hand drawn. So yeah. Hey, thanks, Summer. Thank you, thank you. Jurassic Vengeance. Uh, it's a silent raid. We all join separately instead of using a raid function. That's terrifying. That's a terrifying notion that you've uh, <laughs> that you that you've just bombed me like that. You guys missed. Can I show you one thing that you just missed? And Poxers, this is what I was working on before. That I finally finished it. I finally finished the card back for my custom deck of cards. Thank you, Poxers. Thank you. Um, Charizard's here. I remember Charizard. I've raided with you before. Um, thank you, thank you. This is Okami. That means a lot. That's that makes me feel special. <laughs> no, but seriously, it is. You know, keeps me makes me want to keep going. It's hard to get up in the morning sometimes, but a little encouragement like that goes a long way. So yeah, when I finish my when I finish my cards, I'm gonna kickstart this thing. So maybe a month. I might need you to make a logo for me for. Oh yeah. Jurassic, hit me up. Send me an instant message. Um, send me one of their, their instant messages uh, because I'd love to. Um, thanks, Boxer. A Jurassic Vengeance is going to follow me now. Man, that makes me feel good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Excite, excited about this deck of cards. Excited about your logo. Um, you tell me. Oh, that's a cute little heart that says love you. That's adorable. And you have a dinosaur next to your name. Um, so yeah, this is where this is where I'm working. Means a lot. So we'll take the staleness of this and make it actually a lot more a lot more interesting. Poor guy, it's not very interesting. So and this, you guys, is still going to be infinitely scalable. You'll be able to make this art as big as a bus or as small as a postage stamp because it's all vector. If you if you look at it and go, why? Whoop! Well, uh, see how it, each one of those becomes a little shape. Yep, it's math, baby. But yeah, I appreciate the raid, guys. Really do. I uh, found you guys because of gamers, and uh, I don't game, but you guys have adopted me. I know there's a couple uh, art streamers in B42, and that's awesome. It's awesome. We we who we who art together. So yeah, this is just a matter of. I'm working with a, with a standing desk today. Whenever I put this thing up to standing level, I feel like a giant failure when I put it back down. But <laughs> you gotta get used to it. You gotta get used to uh, um, to the feeling of like standing all damn day. I got this like thing underneath my feet that's squishy um, because otherwise, man, it's just awful. But and every half hour, I go doing like bunch of sit-ups and push-ups 20 of each 20 squats or whatever so I've got timers going I got six and a half minutes left it's my new thing so I come back kind of out of breath 
and just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit better in shape. Because I had surgery and then I lost all my strength and core strength especially because it was abdominal surgery. Just tripped on my own freaking standing desk. It is fun to go and raid with the B forty two crew. Just cruise around, check out people you've never seen or heard you know from uh, maybe you've seen them in raids but you've never actually gone to their channel it's pretty cool you see all manner of game being played all manner of setup as far as you know the, the camera and it's just cool it's just very cool to see highly recommend being a part of and being an active part of a stream team if you're a streamer Hard to remember what part of my screen is actually being focused by my overlays. I've got this weird thing in my like hip that if I stand on a hard surface too long, it goes numb. That's a weird thing. Been that way my entire life. It's not because I'm getting old. And I know, like, it's on my hip, it's like the side of my thigh. It's kind of crazy feeling. But it's been that way forever. You know what I haven't done in, like... A little while saved my file that should be one of those alert things that people can spend their points channel points on save the file Bob do the right thing these kind of little scroll work things every time I do one they're just they're just fun they're very rewarding when you actually kind of get them right This is a, this is what's called an, a stick welder, I think. Um, I've actually used one, but we called it an arc welder. But you hold it, and this like little stick goes zap, and it melts metal, and it makes it go to other metal. It's called welding. But I was shy at it. Uh, it was just kind of a cool thing to try. 
and also a little terrifying because that's just very bright and very electric-y. So the, there's actually a decent amount of shock danger um, that I was feeling. I mean, I'm not a stranger. I'm mean, to to danger. I'm not a stranger to danger. Uh, I used to build houses, so walking on walls, you know, before they're, you know, walking on the top of walls, that's that's a fair amount of freakout time. Feels like a different lifetime. That was probably a dozen years ago. And I had a boss who kind of just, in Colorado, who encouraged me to go and do art, not because I was bad at framing, but because he could tell that I wanted to do art. And he's just pretty in tune. He was pretty great. Thank you, Cameron. Sometimes he shows up. It's been a while. He works during these hours. He's building houses. Okay, it's time to do some push-ups. Well, no, I'm not gonna do push-ups. I'm gonna do, yeah, maybe I'll do push-ups. I'm gonna do 20. I'm gonna do 20 push-ups. You should do 20 push-ups. Come back out of breath. Mm -hmm. Did you do push-ups? Mm. <sighs> mm. I didn't like any of those lines. In the belly of my shattered heart is that lyric. What? I am not a songwriter, much is the shame, but sometimes I'm just a little baffled. Sometimes I have to step really far away from what I'm working on. Just step way over here. This one has less elements than the other one, so it's going a little faster. Well, a lot faster. It's Friday, you guys. Should I take an early day? Oh, 
forgot to hit my timer. 30 minutes, we're gonna do another exercise. Okay. Stand up, y'all. Let's do some white. Save, save the work, save the work. I think I'm going to do some calf raises next or some lunges. Lunges would be good because it's just did squats, a lot of squats yesterday, and my butt is killing me. Stand up, y'all. Yeah, that raid, I just, it's terrifyingly silent. What's up with that? When they showed up, they're like, I'm like, wait, what? Which is it, Hollow Man or Shallow Man? Come on now. I'm so critical. I should be really thankful, which I am, that uh, that I have an alternative to lo-fi hip-hop stream beats nonsense. Uh, it's my channel. I can like it or not like it. So, yeah. I may drive people away with my crazy metal, but uh, I right now I just can't handle the other stuff. I can't handle it, guys. Let's do some dark, dark, dark. Right here, right here. I'm 
What do we think? Now I do the before and after thing. It's before, after. See, I think that works nicely. Before, after. Yes. That's just that's just so much better. I'll have to show him. I'll have to show him later on. Today. Let's see what he says. All right. What should I work on? Whoops. Whoa. I know that I have to do a uh, spot the difference drawing. Let's change the Let's see. I am drawing full stop. Let's see. Let's let's draw a hidden images image. <laughs> All of a sudden, my freaking ear hurts. Ah. One of Jurassic Vengeance hit me with a message. I get discounts. Yeah, I can do it on stream. Much love. Okay. Did not forget to send that. So either. Okay, let's do Photoshop. No, let's not do Photoshop. Let's do Clip Studio. Man, that it's been a while since I've done Clip Studio. The problem with Clip Studio, still is a problem, is it doesn't it doesn't use your GPU. It uses your CPU, which is crap for a graphics intensive program. This will be funny because I will not remember anything. Um, well, I might, but uh, let's see. Paint. See, let's do let's do it like a five by five or something square um, at 300 dpi because this is going to be print pixels turns into inches and we'll do five by five paper color bum, 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 bum. oh boy guys Mm, am I gonna remember how to do this? Let's do a new application. Clip Studio Paint. Okay, this top button, when I hit it, I'm gonna want it to be my pen. Because that's. Oops. In this program, that's the. The thing you draw with, not a brush. And uh, brushes are definitely something to paint with. So let's do this one as keystroke control. Whoops. Uh, control Z. Undo. And I always forget what I need in this. Oh, let's do a hand, which is. Mm, a space and can we take it I forget how zoom works in this but let's do zoom 
Zoom in, zoom. Z. Z. Alright, let's see how that works for a while and see what I forgot. Okay. I keep doing this. I set down my. There it is. Everything in my room is black. Alright, what should I do? Um, pencil. What should I do? Okay, this is an issue about camping. So, what is what is camping? There's tents. There's, there's tents. There's fires. There's bears that attack tents. There's food like s'mores and stuff. It's a spot the difference. So we want to do something. Uh oh. What about? Tent. One of those ones that goes out sideways, like Baker style tents. We could do like a bear lumbering around, huge bear. I like it to be more fun than that, though. Um, new raster layer. Um, where are my my interesting uh, ideas, guys? Yesterday I had people giving me ideas. Um, I could do like it needs to be like something I can switch out different elements of and it's got to fit inside of a square so what about some cartoony dude chilling Marshmallows, maybe? Sitting on a log. Um, that's right, and this one, normally the lasso tool uh, is L, because go figure, lasso. And this one, it's not. It's uh, M for Maso tool. I don't know. It's really kind of hard to remember. Sitting on a log. Here's your fire. We'll make it a lame little fire. Looks like little sticks instead of big logs. Um... And then bear. What does a bear that is standing look like? Standing bear. Bear. Oh, that's actually a name of First Nations person thing there. Go figure. Should I have like this bear standing there like, let's see, decently large bear. They kind of have a larger upper body when they stand. 
They look like they're wearing saggy pants. Um, they kind of hang their arms down in front of them like this. Should have made him a Bigfoot. Um, he's gonna have like a marshmallow stick too. kind of ears like this. Uh, they got kind of a square old body. See if we can make this work. Oh, look at that. That is not what I thought it would be. Weird. What happened to the pencils in this? Weird, 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 weird. All right. I'm looking at bears who are standing. They kind of look silly when they're standing. Uh, I keep looking back at my other screen because I have bear reference art up for like a, stand, a bear and how it stands. They gotta kinda stand up straight though. Not down like that. Hmm. There's a way to use this menu. How do I use this? Expand, shrink, that deselects. There's one that ha like how to move it. Scale, rotate. It's been a long time, okay? Well, oh, that's not it. Okay, that looks silly. I kind of like it. Um, why did I delete that? Damnation. Maybe, maybe, maybe I turn the arm out a little bit. Yeah. 
they have this weird posture where they put their arms out slightly. I think it's because they're trying to balance, maybe, because they're not, they don't have big old feet like we do compared to, I mean, like our feet go out. So maybe. Let's make the fire a little bigger. Aspirations, that's how the guy says it. Do I put, what do I put on the thing? Um, Pine cones? Would it make any sense to put a pine cone on here? Like, um, or should I make it like a harpoon fish? Sort of gruesome, but hey, we'll do one of those fun fishes that everybody likes when they're dead, where they have crossed eyes. Okay, so it's kind of like magic arp. Just ignore that. That's mean. Um, but we know bears eat fishes. Bears eat fishes. They are. I think maybe I'll skip some of these because I don't want to like alienate anybody with the craziest of sounds so, so I, I can recognize it's a little over the top um, all right this guy here all right let's make him a kid which means what which means the head of the child gets bigger I'll just one zoom in. There we go. Wait, didn't we just hear this? I got that anime here. Stabilization is cranked. No wonder it's drawn so slow. Oh. Okay, you ever do marshmallows and have one like just about falling off and it's burning? This kid's probably doing that. That's what this that's what's happening right there. It's melting. You know you've done it. Oh, that's my hip. Might have to uh 
switch the bring the bring the desk down. Always feels like a failure though. No longer will this hate divine. It's bad when you start getting to know the uh, lyrics to the to the royalty free music that you use for streaming. Make this more interesting log. Make this got some coal like things under here. Make this fire more awesome. This kid kind of looks bored. No, when you're sitting in front of the fire, you're concentrating because there's something mesmerizing about the fire. Turns out that button makes it go away. Well, how about that? Okay, there we go. Let's... Ah! Right, let's save this as a spot the diff. And then that's going to be in this magazine, uh, Camp Putnam issue, links. Uh, boom. Okay. Now I won't lose all the amazing work that I've done so far. Whoa, precision mode, look at that. I don't really know what that is. <clears throat> Let's merge these down. Turn down the opacity. Zoom in a little bit. Because we need, the, this guy's face needs some work. I don't want him to look too despondent, because right now he kind of looks despondent. Maybe we make it a girl. Maybe let's make it a girl. Um, this is feeling stupid, but I'm drawing a blank, so let's do... Uh, Girls, hair, styles. Hairstyles is one word. Some of these are outrageous. Poor disaster. Mm, nope, don't like it. Um, how about that's cute? That's cute. Let's go with it. Um, When you look for like girls' hairstyles, you come up with the weirdest shit. Let's not do this. Let's do this. Maybe I make her looking behind her slightly. Nope. 
Alright, what do I do? What do I do? Um, for a brief exercise, I can do calf raises? Calf raises. Alright, hold on for two seconds. Right back. Wait, if you do that right, it doesn't feel good. Oh, sh I need some water. Hold on, here's that. Hydrate or dihydrate, am I right? All right, let's see. Um, whoop, whoop. And there we go. What do we make her wear, though? Um, Kind of this longish, longish. Um, kind of a tank toppy type thing. Yeah, if you do uh, calf raises, right? Kind of really feel it. I mean, you should feel any, but dear God. There's something concentrated about a calf raise that makes, oh, what kind of shoesies? Um, let's make them cool, kind of, well, cool in my head. Um, what are they, Converse All-Stars? Let's make them All-Stars. Chuck's, Chuck Taylor, Chuck. All stars, whatever. It's time to find a new playlist. Not playlist, but let's skip to a different portion of it. Hmm. Get really down here. There's a album called Camp Yeti. Really? Oh yeah. If I, if I move my standing desk down, it'll quake everything. It'll shake the whole desk. It's pretty funny. And I might. I might do it. It feels better to draw when I'm standing, but, you know, 
sort of uh, tiring for your legs. I know it sounds stupid. I'm, I'm standing and that's tiring. Ugh. But it's the right thing to do, okay? I don't want that to look like the other log. I want this to look like a new one, like this. And then a bunch of coal type stuff. And blah, 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 blah. Let's do a bear. I'm gonna make him kind of smiling. Oops. That is not a pencil. I don't know why I care. It's just a texture thing at this point. Happy bear. Um, bear's ears. Let me see the best drawing of bear I've ever seen. Copy image. Come over here. Bam. Oh, that does not work. Wait, what? If I bring this over here, check that bear out right there. He's a fine guy. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. It's just a weird pose. Um, okay, so bear's ears do kind of sit up on the top of their head. Um, let's do this. And they're sort of round. Like my bear all of a sudden. Let's see. Maybe that's what it is. His, his arms need to start so much lower. Leg. I liked it better when it did that. Okay. And they don't have a tail to speak of. I mean, they do, but I'm going to make it look like he's got a mitten style hand. And this fantastic fish. Fish. Um, why do I feel like his eyes are dumb? That's about right, though. His head too big? We're going to try something. Um, oh, wow, it's on two different layers. Doing that merge with that one. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Should I make him holding something? Hmm. 
I was going to make him holding like a picnic basket. But that would be kind of, hmm, no. Hmm. Let's flip this thing. How do I flip this? I can't remember. <laughs> nope, nope. Rotate, flip canvas, horizontal. Yay! make something sitting here just like a this time I will make it a picnic basket or a cooler I could make holding a dreadnought <laughs> okay so he's ready to play and that could be one of the differences right so i have him holding like a guitar like you say a dreadnought um uh let's see i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it and then like in one of the other ones where there's a difference you have to like show a difference we could do holding something else kind of big-ish and uh because we don't want to make it too hard, but we'll figure it out. I feel like I'm making that too chunky. There we go. It's a little bit better. We could make him, like, we could give him one of those hats, like a Smokey the Bear hat. Is it Smokey the Bear? Oh my gosh, it's been eons since I've thought about that. How you doing, Tony? No, I'm doing it. Are you kidding me? We're going to make this bear the ultimate camper. We're going to make him, like, let's see. We can make him wearing something. I really want the hat, though. Hmm, now you got me doubting myself. I really wanted him to be like camping bear guy. Hmm. Like if he was wearing one of those scouting uniforms, that'd be hilarious. But it doesn't really work. Not with a little girl sitting there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Come on, let's get an idea. That's a cool drawing. I get all distracted looking at other people's drawings of these bears. I was gonna make him like with a, like a, a stringer of fish, you know? Because I really need to put things in here that would be like difference making. Um, you ever see a bear with a bib? Uh, why am I struggling so much with this idea? Um, lantern. I need things that I can change. How are we liking standing desks? We're, they're all right. They make me a little bit weary sometimes.
I'm gonna take down the desk. A couple hours is a good time. Here we go. It's time to look like an earthquake. We're spinning down the thing. So what else can I put in this stinking drawing? Um, if I'm not gonna make him look like I got a crank, I don't have one of those cool like. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Um, struggling with idea. Loud screaming bands shouting in here. <laughs> You're all you work. Oh come on. I can change it. You know what I was tired of? I was tired of the stream beats sound. Those the same what do you call it? Over and over and over again. Every song sounded the same. Bad little I don't know. Doo -doo. But there's like supposedly a wealth of um, like streaming music out there. I don't know. It takes me back. It takes me back where I like. Ah, yes. I did have running some Bach yesterday. Ba, 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 ba. It'd be so much easier if I could just play whatever the heck I want. Streaming. Music. Uh, rock. Non copyright. Just regular rock. Hmm. <sighs> I can spell. Let's do, let's go back to the traditional. And if I make it through like five of these without being crazy, without being made crazy, right? Move this back down. Hmm. Bear is almost there. I don't know what why he feels just a little off still. Let's move these up. Oh, that is not the lasso tool. Sometimes overlapping is good. Only you can prevent <laughs> dreadnought over usage. Okay. Dreadnought over usage. What about a floppy sun hat instead of. Instead of the Smokey the Bear look? Hmm. Or just like a little dumb baseball cap that looks like it belongs on a child her size. vests that you wear, fishing vests with the 8 million pockets. I mean, I did a lot of fishing in my day. I never owned a fishing vest, like a lot of fishing. Um, it used to be related to the kids, maybe a doll, maybe a blankie, you know, floppy sun hat. Yeah, see, I like the floppy sun hat feel instead of this baseball cap. I'm trying to think of what the heck a floppy baseball uh, uh, sun hat looks like. Like, you know, I see people wear these when they go fashion. fashion. Um, what if I make, I like the idea of a toy or something. But the fish on a string you're saying is not um, is not bueno. We could do the actual fishing pole. Um, and this, you know, this child is going to be like, what the hey? Um, we can make it like one of those old Zebco reels. Like, we'll see, we'll see. Fishing pole. Um, 
<laughs> the fishing vest. I'm actually gonna look one up though because having never owned one, fishing vest. I just put fishing instead of fishing. It seems legit. Um, oh yeah, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. It's one of those things that's like, this is why I look at things. Um, you can hear my pen. It's the one thing about Wacom pens that I don't like. Is they're like a little, um, what do you call it? I'm glad, it's fun, I'm glad. It's like, it's a little loose. I expect it to be a little tighter in there. Um, kind of go like this and they kind of go they have like they do have like a collar -y type thing collar collar and then go under the arm she's despondent because she has little melty marshmallows and he's he's been fishing all day so he's got some good stuff on him He's got the good food. Um, let's see. Pockets, pockets. So many pockets. And then you gotta be big pockets down here. Um, I'm gonna move this basket. Maybe make him wearing boots. Cause you know, when I do the part where I'm taking, you know, the differences, I'm gonna make him not wearing boots in one of them. So wearing boots and not wearing boots. You know what I mean? Like, that'll be like, oh, um, uh, does little girl know the bear there? No, I mean, I kind of wanted her to look like, like have her eyes looking just a little bit like, like, did I hear something? And like looking back a little bit. Um, Cause I think that could be fun. Like, you know, I mean, you think she'd know by the time this started happening. Fishing vest. Um, <laughs> I just really wanted to make that collar work, so let's do this. thing you know what he looks like he's standing too close how can I get him out of there you know what I mean like it looks like he's in the ground uh, no, stop that layer below um, I think this is where I originally had him. Oops. It's okay. It's okay. That makes it a little clearer that he's wearing a vest too. And it's got this nice big negative space. Look at that. I feel like there should be something right here though. Um, I mean, at one point I had like a cooler or something, but it seems kind of boring. What can I have there? Um, 
as far as camping gear goes. I mean, it does make <clears throat> it does make sense to have the lantern, the let's see, camping lantern, camping lantern. It's kind of silly to have a lantern next to a fire, though, isn't it? I think I did the same thing in my other drawing about the the camping you know setup. Forgot to set reset my timer when I sat down. making noise behind um, Marshmallows on the ground. So I could make, <clears throat> let's see, the fish change out for something different. The stringer just plain gone. He's not carrying anything anymore. Or maybe no, I take away the fishing pole. Um, I could literally just change out his shirt for like, you know, with a bow tie on it or something. Just something that's completely out of place. Um, Thought about changing her shoes, but they're so tiny in the drawing. We're not making a full fire ring, but we'll make some stones, just kind of like. Overlapping, sure, overlapping. They're making noise. Hmm. Weird. Make another one here. I went to a campground once that had like big old logs, uh, like this, sitting around the fire, and they were like driven like big nails into the ground, so people couldn't like. I don't know, throw him in the fire or something. Pull reinforces why he's got clothes and a hat and a smile. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Um, perspective looks off, so let's fix that. Uh, okay, if I resize this, it'll fit decently in a square, right? It's got to fit decently in the square. And it can go all the way to the edge of it. Cause this is gonna be like in the magazine it's gonna be like yay oh geez it is not gonna fit hmm, hmm. Let's 
see how I have uh, room on the top and the bottom. I'd like it to be, like, I could make this, you know, a little bit, it's night timey, but not really. Like, I could do this. I could do kind of a cool view. Behind them. Trees and such. Trees and such. Happiest of trees. Happy. Happy little trees. Um, do people still talk about the man on the moon? When I was a kid, like, man on the moon was a thing. And honestly, I have no idea why. I have no idea why there was... There was People talk about a man on the moon, and I still don't see the face. I don't. People are like, oh, but you can see a face up there. Well, I can't. I can't. I don't know. I don't know why that's a thing. Let's turn the opacity down and try and get some better lines now. Let's use this pencil and zoom in a little bit. Wow, this pencil is crazy. What is going on with that? Been a long time, been a long time. Let's do that one. I didn't want this to look like scary or anything. Otherwise, I'd put a monster behind her and that'd be fun. Um, but it would have to be like the most adorable monster ever. Just chill. Just vibing. I'm just... And fishing. Now I'm gonna cook and eat my fish. Sorta of looks like a cowboy hat, but whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate it. Never seen the face of the moon, yeah. And we're visual people, why you know why can't we say it? I think people are just trolling. It's a total snipe hunt. Do you see the face in the moon? Uh, yeah, I totally see that thing that you're talking about. Uh, sure. Nope. Oh, I wanted to switch this around the other way. Flip canvas, horizontal. pockets there are pockets everywhere um, I never I mean do you put I'm not gonna lie I don't know I do you put lures and stuff in in the vest do you put bait in the vest because that could get stinky uh, or is it all artificial lures and stuff lures And look to the hand. Uh, yeah, and then let's see. I don't just that's gonna be shaded up under there. Shade, 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 shade. Why 
Why is smoothing on? Stop. I want my lines to wobble. This poor fish. That's why these pockets, I couldn't get my lines to be good. Here we try this again. Yes. There's line stabilization in these programs that I guess would be kind of like using a ruler. You know, if I crank this up and I draw, I could draw like large swooping lines without it. Um, without it getting all wobbly and weird. And I guess that's okay for like some things like this fire. But when you go to draw stuff like faces and it lags behind your, oh, lags behind your hand like that, you, the precision all just goes out the window. See, I'm gonna turn it off because I want to. <laughs> all right, girly. Or like looking sometimes drawing a face in this orientation it's gonna be so tiny though Garrett's designed quite a, uh, a a game design that he wants to turn into a video game. Uh, he has it laid out all analog on the table, figuring out what the mechanics should be and whatnot. It's pretty cool. You know, thinking about what what is likable about a video game and what is super irritating in a lot of you know different genres of video game or any game because games is games We're kind of trying to solve all those problems pants like one of those three-quarter length pants things and then the Converse All-Stars shoes Sometimes draw a really bad hand. Hmm. 
really go for some Chinese food right now. I don't know why drawing a campfire scene makes me want to have Chinese food, but I could mess up some Chinese food. Changing out fish could have worked. Changing out, hmm, because you can't see what's on her shirt, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do shoes. It's going to be too hard to make that read. Start with his just regular feet, and we'll add the boots on top of them in the other drawings, or other drawing. I'm ready to do another painting if uh, Betsy ever gets that to me. I'll be so glad. I'm doing a lot of drawings and I really like drawings, obviously, but paintings are really kind of more involved, a lot of more like a lot, lot more interesting uh, choices, like color-wise and stroke and and it'll be the ninth one in a series of 13 I think Oh, sleepy music. Probably shouldn't get too gone on these freaking bags and pouches, considering they're going to be an eighth inch tall when I get done with this drawing on the page of the magazine.
make this log split in half rather than because nobody puts the whole log on there unless they're kind of small or you have the biggest fire ever then it doesn't matter I guess they will have to make color choices and whatnot with this one. I'm not going to go over the trouble of all that same shading I'm working on with the other the other drawing. That's really kicking my butt. Marshmallows laying on the ground. It's a sin. Actually, not a huge fan of marshmallows. And switch out this lantern for like a teddy bear or something. It'll be cute. Um, let's start with. This ther not thermos, uh, cooler.
that. Uh, oh, I was going to do lunges. Lunges in four and a half minutes. The timer is running. Um, let's see. We'll make this go this way. Why does it have to make noise when you move it? I wonder if the newer stylus is, because this one's like seven years old. I wonder if the new styluses make this much racket. Kind of makes me crazy. But I find a lot of different types of things irritating. That is, yeah, definitely one of them. Um, oops. Working in this software really changes my style just a little bit. I did an entire uh, Inktober with this software once. Couldn't think of the word. see him. Does it make, let's see. I'm going to give him a backpack. kid they had this like they have uh frames on their backpacks so they have what's called frameless now which doesn't appear to have anything um but they had actually metal tubing that held the backpack in a, a kind of predictable fashion and you would strap stuff to it as well as it be the the, the skeleton for your backpack those things were heavy and in the wrong way, they were heavy. It's not just because we carried 40 pounds around with us when we went hiking. It was like these bars had a had a padding to keep them off of your lower back. But I'm here to tell you, it's probably a tenth of the reason that I'm constantly hurting my back nowadays. like a cinnamon roll. I say that every time I draw a bed rug roll, which it's interestingly, I draw a lot derp, of bed rolls. Derp, 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 derp. Derp. All right, you know what that means? It's time to do some random 20 reps of something. So I'm gonna do, what did I say I was gonna do? Oh, lunges so that my knees and quads can get stronger. So here goes, I'm gonna put my headphones down. 
I'll be back after 20 three days later of these things. And then water, hydrate or dihydrate, am I right? Um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear my knees clicking from across the room, but yeah, they were grinded. Hitting the timer again. Whew. I mean, it's not like a full-on workout, but it's a way to get out of my seat and treat my body a little bit kinder than I typically do. Let's fix up all these lines. Bears are known for fishing. Just, oops, just not this kind of fishing.
Now this makes me want to grill. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but like, uh, today everything I'm drawing makes me want to eat or reminds me of something. I, you know, Chinese food at one point. I was talking about burgers earlier on and grilled cheese. Now I'm like, okay, now I want to grill again. It is getting nice enough to do that, but who am I kidding? <clears throat> we used to grill year round back when I had a nicer grill. Because you just kind of shovel, you know, get it out of your way and then go. Flip it back. Uh, flip horizontal. All right, now let's put some color and tone into this thing. Um, it's easiest to start with. Let me lock this layer though. Oh, how do you lock a layer in? Okay, I almost forgot how to do this in Clip Studio Paint. It, um, a brush. Give me a, nope, not precision mode. Give me a brush. A uh, brush panel. Do I have to? It's been too long. Here we go. I'm just going to hit B. Oh, um, watercolor. Give me some smooth watercolor. And we'll do something nice and blue, like a mid tone blue. We'll try and get a decent amount of this on the background. Just as a big, whoa, gosh, wow. See, that's not the brush I thought it would be. That's the brush I deserve. Weird, look at that, no. Oh, I get it. So if I just put a bunch of watercolor on like this, unless you know how to use Clip Studio, in which case, hook me up. Okay, and then, then it's like putting water on it with the next stroke, which is what gives it that kind of washy look. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. I just wanted a tone for the background, which I now have. Now there's a cool tool in yeah, it's called the Lasso Fill in Clip Studio Paint. And I miss this every time I go to do stuff in Photoshop because I'll just use this thing and draw and it'll automatically fill it for me wherever I put this lasso. I don't have to hit any other keys to make it happen, it just does. That's awesome, right? That's awesome. More water, more water. Well, what color should we make the vest? Like a like that kind of olive drab look that outdoorsman stuff usually winds up being when I was a kid both my grandpa and my grandma played an organ 
and one of those and they were like super cutting edge when they bought them because they were they were not they were wealthy people um and we would go there and we would try and play and none of us knew how to play anything and it was just kind of dumb so we would find the demo on the thing and it would demo sounds and whatever for you and uh it sounded every time exactly like this music just kind of repetitive and uninspired you know it's there and it's not distracting i suppose except for if you think about how uninspired it is which i am i know i'm complaining too much i really just wish i could play my the music that i own i own music but i can't play it because i can't prove that i own it to twitch i mean they don't have time to police my music so they just say you can't play it unless it's royalty free <sighs> i should be okay with this because i'm an artist and i want everybody who creates things to get paid but i did pay <laughs> did so shouldn't I be able to mm. let's do that kind of olive drab look for the bear's vest mm. like yay maybe yay sure it's not drab but I kind of like it looks like I need to get my blue brown back can be this because I don't want it to be the only green on the thing I could make this lantern no because I want that to be red maybe the fish and I'll highlight them up so that they look differently look differently look different from the best let's go for some kind of nice blue for the let's go darker than that for this bad roll what's up what is happening Marlton, no, Marlton, the greatest of all Marltons. Dude, just trying to do a hidden images thing for that, uh, not hidden images, spot the difference. Spot the difference for that magazine that I'm working on. So, just trying to get that banged out, out of the way. We're gonna try the Twitch viewers thing. It seems to be grayer. That's too dark. I've been thinking about it. I don't remember what it does, but we should totally try it. On your on your your channel, because people watch you for gaming. People don't watch you for gaming. But it would be so fun. Um, finishing a few assignments before the end of the sprint. What's the sprint? Is that like just a figurative speech because you're moving a lot, doing a lot quickly? Yeah. I would, I do, I like, we do things. Who else would join us? Obi would join us maybe? Or, wait, how does that work? Is it, do we play with you or do we watch you play and then mess with you by choosing certain modifiers that suck? Uh, or that are good or do we let your regular viewers do it and we just kind of goof around I'm down for whatever sprints are just half the quarter oh okay so it's an actual thing it's not got it got it 
let's do some reddish reddish I said ish um, on this lantern I wanted to make the cooler red because we have a red cooler but for reals what should I make it the blue I should make it the blue see-through and glass but what do I make it I mean do I make it the color of the thing behind it uh, nothing else in this it's kind of that detail but let's try it I won't do the whole thing though I'll do it kind of like like this like this the four of us will just be playing rat game normally and the chat will be murdering slash aiding us yes but then Garrett will be like oh you guys are contrarians <laughs> partly because we did come on he's got to play with us maybe Daniel will do it if Garrett won't Garrett will come on he's got our back heck he could stream too to his channel he could do it in squad mode I watched a thing in squad mode once it worked it was like, huh, that's pretty cool. Let's just do this. Maybe I use this for the rocks as well. And then I can shade from there. This makes me want to do my comic again. Um, you guys play with me all four players can connect their chats to the game what oh yeah it'll probably just be your chat because my chat will be like wait if it's not completely crickets it would be so confused like what the hell is this dude doing I got raided by b42 earlier They're swell people. Yeah, they're just they're just good. Uh, six or seven my time. Yeah, we should be done with it's Pizza Friday. Pizza Friday. Um, yeah, pretty excited. Always am. We started Pizza Friday for a morale boost back uh, when the lockdowns and shelter in place things were happening uh, because we were kind of like, holy shit, you know, Maddie was upset because she had to leave school and she was just getting into the classes she wanted to get into. Um, so we needed something to look forward to every, you know, Friday. So we're like, that's it. We're going to have pizza every Friday. And it's been fun. It's a little annoying now. And I'm afraid that that we need to probably stop it and make a new thing. We need to make, like, Chinese food. The, the problem is, is, like, getting cheap Chinese food. Because you can get some cheap pizza, and it's fun. And it's just dorky. Uh... Last and then sometimes we watch a movie. Like last week we watched uh, Kong versus Godzilla. And if you haven't watched it, check your motives. So if you want to watch something that has no continuity in the storyline, but is just ripping, you know, it's monsters and freaking yeah, crazy. I'm not going to give anything away. Um, then that then this is for you. This is definitely for you. Uh, if you want something with a cohesive plot, and it's just not going to be for you. The, the plot is the problem. The effects are not the problem. The effects are ripping. They're really good, uh, which is what I kind of expected from it. But they're not as good as the other Kong movies and Godzilla movies, which were pretty good. 
The Skull Island one was good. It's just plain awesome. Maybe you'll buy pizza. Do it. Where my pizza? My family has always done Pizza Friday since I was really. <laughs> just take out Friday. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna propose that. Take out Friday. Because then we can have like a variety and we won't get tired. Okay, is a fire brighter near the edges? Okay, I'm just gonna look up fire. I just Googled fire. Um, images. So it's gets darker on the outside. <clears throat> Most of the time, Takeout Friday still ends up being Pizza Friday, but we're not locked into it. That's the key. That is the key. I'm going to start by doing all of this as orange, or most of this is orange. And then I will add brightness to the inside of it. But you see how I did that? I got shoes, backpack, and or the orange of the fire. All, you know, so you don't... Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like something's missing like something's completely isolated until you want something completely isolated and then you you let it be a lonely color on the composition there's the moon um you know what we need to do we need uh This and then clip it to below. Do, 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 do. Okay, that was the wrong color to do that with. But ow. Is fire brighter? Near the, I would think it's the opposite. Yeah, you're right. No, exactly. Fire is brighter near the core. I googled it because that's weird. Um, no, that's not dark enough, and it's too saturated. Let's do that, and then, and then, no more and then. I put this on a layer behind it so I can be kind of haphazard. Um, Yeah, I like doing that. <laughs> Favorite style of music for watching relaxing things such as art, just nice and chill. Well, earlier you missed in my, I was in a different mood and I was angry at the music and so I chose the angriest music. I just went straight for metal and just stayed that way for a while. <laughs> And then Tony was having a hard time thinking, trying to help me think of stuff. So, you know, ideas about this drawing and whatnot. And uh, so I, I killed it. I, I like, I live for chaos energy and just, I just really do. Um, so in that way, I'm some kind of weird heretic. But I recognize, I recognize not everybody else does. And since I want to share the experience of creating this art, I'm not going to be like, well, force everybody to listen to the garbage I like to listen to. Listen, I know you like garbage heavy metal too, so shut up. Not that you said anything. I know for a fact. <clears throat> Several things are evidence of this. One, you play a video game that's all about metal with Jack Black, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it was kind of funny and uh, yeah, so that was metal and there's like lots of metal in that. Also, you play Gears of War, so you're not allowed to not like metal. Brutal Legend, that's what it's called. Brutal. Um, yes, that's right. It's 
one of those games that's like, huh, I would try and play that. Because it's got like different feels to different parts of it. But I only play multiplayer games. Um, this has to be lighter than that, Bob. Maybe saturated like so? Yeah, it's not quite lighter. I mean, it is. Yeah, let's go with it. Um, versus multiplayer. <laughs> ah, versus though. Versus, okay, I should clarify. I like to co-op, um, but versus depends. It depends. Like, I wish in Sea of Thebes that I could just duel you while we're screwing around on the boat, you know, and you could res me and because you'd kill me every time, but um, there is no such thing. But it's co-op, so if I had both, that would be cool. I like co-op. Uh, 4VAI. See, I like that. Four? You can have four people in Brutal Legend. Because it's kind of like... Uh, what the heck? Like an RTS, right? I thought there was an RTS type of mode to it. I know that there's some first per or third person over the shoulder stuff. And then you were doing it with like eye tracking at one point, which is hilarious. RTS TPS. Oh, third person shooter and hack and slash. Yeah, see, that's cool. I like it when, like, Near Automata does that. I don't know if you've ever played that. It's just, you'll be cooking along, and all of a sudden, it's a side-scroller. Um, you know, a platformer. Uh, uh, and then you go back to, like, a third-person hack-and-slash, and then it's the top-down fighter view, like, fighter jet view. Very unique to me. Very unique. Um, let's go... But if it's your stream, you're going to have to do the talking, remember. Because you're kind of quiet when you get a bunch of people together who aren't, you know, your stream folks. We got this. Oh, weird. What did I just choose? Oh. Because your people expect you to talk. Talk. I should probably be doing this on the layer below it. Yeah, because I can do that. Yes. <laughs> no, you sh actually don't shush. That's the point of the thing that I was saying. Do not shush. forgot that I need to do some random shading not random very intentional shading so let's do this or should it be a cooler shadow it should be a cooler shadow interrupting gameplay dialogue to talk to chat there's no gameplay dialogue I feel so awkward doing it because uh, because I'm just cutting you guys off I do it but it's, yeah everybody talks over each other it's part of the fun and whoever talks loudest wins um, literally just drawing shapes on the floor and saying <laughs> illegal it's uh, I don't know this is like therapeutic right you know just whoa Yeah, I like the feel of this. This grayish blue I will use here. Yeah, I live for this kind of thing. This software makes it so easy too. You 
you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to draw her marshmallows. There's a lot of little stuff I forgot to draw. Okay. No, don't do that. Stop that. I used to have undo bound to the little clicker. This is a stylus that you use to draw. I don't know if you've seen that, but there's a little buttons on the side right here, a rocker button, so forward and back. And I used to have fo uh, undo on the forward and redo on the back, but I got carried away all the time and hit the wrong thing and got furious. And so yeah, I stopped doing that. No, that's the wrong way. Don't do that. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. This, this. Oh, save. Jeez. It's been eons since I saved. Hydrate or dihydrate. Am I right? Um, you finished the other piece, the spooky? <laughs> no. Because I got, I grew weary of it. It was just, oh, man. Derp, 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 derp. You know what that means? It means I got to do another exercise. 20 reps of something. What should I do? 20 reps of something. Yes, derp. That's my timer to get off my ass and do a thing. 20 of a thing. I've done push-ups today, calf raises, lunges. I should probably do sit-ups, huh? I should probably do at least 20 crunches. Hmm. I can commit to that. I can commit. Oh, jumping jacks. No, because I'll just beat the hell out of the floor. My wife works on the over there. Like right on the other side of the, the thing. Hmm. So, like, if I jump in here, it'll be like, what the hell is that enormous noise? People are dropping elephants one after another. Um, but, yeah. So, what could... Oh, burpees. That's all I'll do without the jump. Ugh. These are the worst. I'm going to need a little room. I'm going to need to pee first. So, uh, I'm going to be right back. Don't go anywhere.
No, I was just miming. I didn't want you to hear how out of breath I am. <clears throat> and warm. I'm going to take off my sweatshirt. That was a little much. It's good though. I know it's good. A little too energetic. Okay. Let's do a thing. <sighs> okay. So... My headphones, Marlton. Right there. I really need a haircut. I'm thinking of trying to cut my own hair for the first time ever. Because what's the worst that could happen? I shaved my head. <laughs> Thanks for the random pointing. <sighs> Too much heavy breathing. Oh, here we go. Time to shade a little bit of shading. My wife was on uh, break, I think, anyways, so I could have done those jumping jacks. But if you've ever done burpees style, burpees hell, um, it feels like you're doing jumping jacks, if not more than jumping jacks, because you're throwing push-ups in there, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I know they're good, but damn. I'm feeling it. I do need to do something for my abs today though after that surgery it just like it took it out of me like I got nothing it's like starting over yeah let's do this this is good Make it look like he's, yeah, lit from underneath. Lit. I mean, not that kind of lit. Um, yeah, I was out for a while. What's DPM? Um, uh, yeah, I was, that's why I was gone for a little bit. Because I was, like, trapped on the couch. So I had hernia surgery. I had hernia, abdominal hernia. So they went crazy. So I've had two different surgeries, one 20 years ago and one now. It was a typo that I accidentally sent. Okay, don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I have not forgotten. But yeah, that's, that's why. That's why I was out of it for a while. Because I had hernia surgery. And, you know, like I said, I've had this done before. So I was like, okay, this isn't going to be that bad. But that was 20 years ago. It was pretty bad. I, would, I think that, you know, I was just better at handling pain back then. Nine or something. Did you have it uh, repaired? I mean, typically that does happen. Oh, what color are you making his hat? This red. Maybe we'll make it this red. Once again, I wound up with just one thing with the is red. Oh, I know what I should do. The tip of the fire is red. Yeah, that looks good. I think that looks good. What's up? This piece of paper I got. Yeah? It says I have to report these $13.39 the government gave me. It says that it's, it says it's a 10.99 yen on it, but this is not a 10.99 yen. <laughs> This is just a piece of paper that says they gave me thirteen dollars, and I have absolutely no idea how to report it. Total interest paid or credited? 
Like anything referencing 1099 int is referencing like a pretty complex page, paper, you know, with the numbers on and everything, but that's some piece of garbage they, they just sent me. It shows the taxable, this is the point of the show where we talk about taxing, taxing things. It shows the taxable interest paid to you during the calendar year by the internal, why are you getting interest from the Internal Revenue Service? If you are required to file a tax return, which you're not, but I mean, I, I report this interest as income. Are you doing? Yes, because I can actually get oh. something from it. Then report it. But how? 1099 in. But that form doesn't, none of this corresponds to Oh, are you doing it through TurboTax? Yeah. Yeah, it'll ask you at some point. For it'll prompt you for, um, I forget what it's called. Just, just watch for it. It'll be additional income. It's it's gonna be a tiny blip on the radar. So it's not. Yeah, I get it. Good luck. Um, I, uh, I'm supposed to. Marlton says I'm yelling at you for him. What? I'm yelling at you on behalf of Marlton. I don't. He just says I should yell at you. Hi. Okay. He says okay. <laughs> um, did you have surgery? That's the question that I was repaired. Uh, it's just they call it a hernia repair. Yeah, out for a few weeks, maybe a month or something. It was fun. <laughs> Sit on the couch and be babied. Uh, yeah. I just never want to do that again. Just, I'm too, I don't know. I think it's because I'm older. I think I just don't bounce back as easily as I, as I did 20 years ago. So that would have made me 20, 24. Maybe I was, maybe it wasn't 20 years ago. 27 rather. I can do maths. Maths. I think I, uh, I think I finished the card backs. I'm gonna pull up Illustrator and show show the card back. Let's see what you think. Let's see what you think. I go to Illustrator and I choose. <clears throat> Whoops, that's not it. This is it. Ah, I just just chose the logos that I was working on earlier. That is not my card back. That's the logo I was working on earlier. I totally forgot I was working on that. <laughs> Whoops. Um, forgot to set my timer. Is what I did. Tried playing a horror game. Worst decision of my life. That was that was the. During the time of my life, I couldn't stand any horror. My dad was asleep, so I just turned on the, off the Xbox. I didn't want to wake him to change the game. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I mean, the shit we do. <laughs> okay, let me... Oh, no, 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 no. That's what happens. Kill that. And this is the card back. See if I can get it to fill up the screen just a little bit more. Yeah, I think this is done. Um, so each one of those skulls representing each one of the suits, and yeah, I don't know, just some other symbolic shit that's hiding in there. Tony picked up on a couple of them. It's going to be quite small because this is the back of a card. Um, Yeah, I look at it and I'm just like, okay. And then sometimes I gotta, you know, do it all, then then switch it right side up. Oh man, there used to be a way to look at everything in a different view. <clears throat> there we go. 
So this is all the paths of that I've created. Every one of these is a fillable path. It's really weird to look at it this way. Does that even show up on the screen? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of vectors. You know vector. You know the vector. Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you. So I am glad to be able to be all right with, with that. And so now it's set up to have like a silver foil on the card. And everything that's white will show through as silver. It'll look nice. Either that or it'll be a spot UV <clears throat> where everything appears to be black, but some of it is a shiny black. So that's the way it'll show up. Uh, but yeah. Talk about a lot of time. I have agonized over that for far too long. That's too dark. Am I on the right layer? Yes, I am. I had to do something similar like to that one time where I was working with somebody and they wanted a tattoo and they wanted it to be, they wanted it to be that complex and dear God, they never got the tattoo. I worked so hard on that. They paid me, I, whatever. I just wanted to see the tattoo. <clears throat> but alas, I think they chickened out because like the artist looked at it and said, you know, that's pretty complex. It's going to cost you a million dollars. And they were like, eh. every time I see them, they're like, I still got that tattoo. It's um, a lot of work. Um, yeah. Give, give. <laughs> I'm glad that you'll that you'll buy one. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you, and I forget how many others. Uh, I have it figured out in the spreadsheet. If a certain number number of people actually buy one deck, you know, if we can get that many, it'd be funded. If one person buys two, then it gives somebody else a break. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to harass people. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully I do get it, and I want to see it. It covers their whole back. I mean, it's ridiculous. Two of them, sweet. One to never open. One to, yeah. Dude, that's a good idea. I have, um, I'm going to have numbered, uh, sealed numbered ones. So they have a, they all have a seal, but some of them are going to be numbered. So it would be, you know, for some people who never want to open them. I love the idea of, of, of that. So that's why I went ahead and started the plans for that. Now, whether or not I have to hand number them or they'll number them for me is the next thing. That's why I'm waiting for a freaking email from them. They're making me nuts. Just want to get this show on the road. bright enough it's a little bit brighter yeah but yeah playing poker that would be fun I haven't done it in eons I've never played Texas Hold'em ever um, so I want to try it it just changes it up an, an interesting amount I think I understand it Number 29, if possible. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I didn't think I'd think of that. I could put it... No. I'm going to allow people to, to first come, first serve, ask for a number. You're right. That would be that would be cool. I can definitely do that. I would love to. It would be an honor. And I don't say that lightly. I think that that's pretty crazy that people want to actually own something like that. Humbling, humbling. The lighting, the lighting. It's 
six or seven, you're saying, our time, huh? Hmm. Um, collector's copy, and I'll open the other one. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. I hadn't thought of that. You know, numbers, like, who's going to get the 13th one? Ooh. Um, Lots of people do collect. And I'm looking at these cards that people are making, and they're so unique. People are making some cool ideas. I thought about doing that myself. Um, collect so you don't collect anything else. I uh, I obviously collect Funkos if I can get out of the way of my collection. I don't have a ton, but yeah, and the, those are comics, particular comics that I like. Um, Spawn, this the one that Todd McFarlane wrote, uh, not but Todd McFarlane, but Neil Gaiman, Amy M Maddie bought me that one. And the Norse mythology one next to it that is uh, written by um, Neil Gaiman as well. And then that's Lobo, because Lobo's the best, and that one's the one about the spelling bee, where if you get it wrong, you die. And it's just hilarious. Um, I love it. Uh, the thing I like that are games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, digital collections. So you can't display them. It brings up an interesting point. It really does. How you know collections aren't meant to just be i guess hoarded you want to show people interesting now i want to like what do people think of that i mean I, the nft the non-fungible whatever it's called um do you know what these are uh i wonder if that factors into it at all like you know having the, having something to display, even if it's your own. Now, oh, that's really... We live in marvelous times. And it seems kind of stupid. The whole non-fungible blah -blah blahs um, NFTs, I think, is the, is the proper... But yeah, could you freaking imagine this one gal who... Uh, there's one meme about a, a little girl who's like looking at a burning something and it's like actively burning down and she's just being creepy about it. Uh, she just sold an NFT of that, the actual supposedly original picture of it for millions or a million or something like that. Well, it's just, are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, I, forget what, I forget what that meme is called. Mm. I remember back in the day when a meme was a psychological term for something that you essentially couldn't get out of your head, uh, you know, a, a phenomenon that you couldn't avoid that made its way virally into other topics and whatnot. And so when people started talking about memes, I was real, real confused. Like, why are you even? And it's just weird. Times have a changed. Back in my day, a meme was not that. I don't like what I just did there. Undo, 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 undo. I want it to be less. I want it to be its own layer. That's what I want it to be. And I want it to be maybe is it color dodge yeah I'll either get a green screen as a background or when I move out of college, I'll set up a shelf with my cards in the background. Dude, let's collect cards together. Let's like make it a new thing. And that way if we find a really cool one, there are some really shit ones out there, like really dumb. Um, and I hate to say that, but they're like really bad and they still fund like crazy. It's just bananas. I 
I actually have one set of collector's cards because I wanted to see what they were capable of, this one company, and they were glossy and I didn't like them. But now they're, they're collectible, so I have them, but they're glossy. Speaking of pizza, <laughs> just sent me a coupon via text. Yes, that's where you do that. Yes, Tiger Woods pumping one's fist thing. Do it. You know you want to. Um, yeah, that's that's a sign from the gods. Imagine getting pizza on Pizza Friday. Imagine. That and video, video game golfing. Okay, that that I don't know much about. I saw here, I got look at these emotes that I made for somebody. A guy named ZG Photo. Um Imagine. Bro, uh the hell is I just gonna say? Uh you said something. Oh, Garrett was playing some crazy golf game with Daniel. I had never seen anything like it. It was so weird. It was like, you know, third person over the shoulder, but you're the ball. And you have like jet boosting and stuff that you can do and you try and like make it through black holes and stuff. It looked crazy. And actually looked kind of fun. I suck at all golf things ever, but I'd be willing to give that a try if I owned it. I don't know if Garrett was 100% into it. <laughs> I think I remember some random swearing happening. And yeah. Do, do. Color dodge, baby. Color dodge. Look at how it just brought that fire to lifey. Sounds similar to golf with friends. I think that's what it is. The popular game, and now there's quite a few games trying to cash in on its success. I think that's what it's called. Golf with friends. Yes. It looked pretty hard, pretty challenging, but in a cool way. I thought it looked cool. Okay, now it's time to try and figure out how to make all of this set is set apart. Um, like sometimes I do a white outline, so let's try that. Let's do white. Let's do a pen. A G pen, a real G thing, baby. Hilarious to play. Um, definitely can't play for more than a few hours if you played every course already. Also, friends required as golf with no one isn't fun <sighs> you right no let's try and do it this way let's try and do a... sometimes I do this outline just to try and pull something out of the background when it's very cartoony like this Because it's going to be decently small. It's going to be small. The smallness of it cannot be overstated. Golf with no one. Oh. Do you ever get random pains in the top of your mouth and think something's seriously wrong with you? Just asking for a friend. Don't go to WebMD. You do? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so does my friend. Um, I let the, uh, I let the hypochondriac out every once in a while where everything's cancer or some kind of virus or I wig out so hard. One night I thought that I had COVID. I 
thought I had COVID so bad that I gave myself COVID. It was crazy. I was laying in bed shivering and I like, I'm having a hard time breathing and I'm slightly coughing and yeah, I was fine the next morning, but I, I was freaked, bro. That was weird. Like, dude, get a hold of yourself. <clears throat> yeah. But I'm glad I'm not the only one. Placebo effect. Looking weird. Yep, that was me. I was placebo in it up. That was like the worst night. But I have since seen the error of my ways and I just won't go on uh, WebMD for, for much of anything. I'll still go on it. Mm -hmm. But I just want to know if certain things are serious. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. I've done all this work and I have yet to actually make a difference, um, different object to spot. I'm pretty sure nobody gets paid enough to do these. It's so hard. No, there's probably some real hard workers out there that have done this 8 million times, and I've only done it about 6 million times. This music is just a little too dreamy. Makes me want to sleep. And I don't want to sleep, like ever. If I could get away without sleeping, I would. Once went to on a deep dive on WebMD, it wasn't anything major, but still. Went to the doctors that week to figure out, uh, yeah, it was nothing. Mm, nothing was wrong. Tested some of the things, and uh, those dudes didn't come out positive. Yeah, bro. Wait, so I suggest... What? They tested some things and most things can come up positive. So I suggested something. Turned out I was right. Uh-oh. Did they find a brain? They're like, holy crap, you have a brain. Oh my god. Me and my two brain cells. Trying to play Sea of Thieves. Freezing up. Can't remember how to take my weapon out in the middle of combat. Dude, that happened to me once. It was really new. And uh, I just got whooped because I couldn't remember how to take out my weapon. Bro, take out your weapon. Uh. I do have a brain. I'm sorry to say, but no, it was just a bacteria infection causing inflammation. Oh, okay. They thought it was other things. Well, have they given you your license yet to practice medicine? You're the next house MD. You're the next Doogie Hauser. No, you're too old to be Doogie. Sorry, that train has passed, has left the station. I'm going to sign this right away before I forget to because actually I have a new way of signing things and it's more fun. There. It's going to be so tiny, nobody will read it. So that's about it and then I will, actually I could, I could cast like a blue glow on the color dodge layer from the, well, that won't show up blue though, will it? Mm. 
Color dodge is weird, okay? F's in the chat for my color theory all around. That might work. Super excited about that. Got it two days ago. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, they only just gave me my ID. I'm actually super excited about that. Got it two days ago. Your ID? What? Your identification? Or are you talking about for... Yeah, I don't know what you mean. I was talking about color theory, and then you were like, ID. And I was confused. Because I want to have a conversation with you about it. And now I'm confused. Have you never had identification? Sort of find that hard to believe. I thought you were employed at one point. Maybe not. Oh, first state issued ID. Wow. Right on. Did you get a good picture on it? Or did you get stuck with something crazy like I did? Mine's terrible. I look like an axe murderer in mine. It's just really like a really grumpy axe murderer. Not those cheerful axe murderers. I wonder if I can show my ID, my, if it will even show, probably won't. And the, uh, I don't know, let's see, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay, if I cover up the stuff that'll allow me to not be like, ooh, that won't focus. I seriously look like a freaking ax murderer. Way back here, yeah, doesn't matter. Um, weird. I had I just opened Pinterest for like zero reasons. <sighs> Why do I even have Pinterest on my phone? I sometimes use it for like uh, art reference, which is great. Like if I'm drawing big robots, I need a bunch of big robots. Uh, I was employed a crew trainer at McDonald's. Oh yeah, and they only required parental permission. Hmm. School ID, school permission. Huh. Nice. That's awesome. I refused to smile. I think I was in a very bad mood that day. And uh, and that kind of backfired. Now I have now I have really bad photo ID. And since I didn't when I had it renewed recently, um, since it's COVID times, couldn't go in and have it retaken because there is no going in. And uh, now it looks terrible. Oh, you don't like the picture of yourself. What? I was employed. Okay, and yes, I actually really like. Oh, you just don't like pictures in general of yourself. Yep, I get that. Here, I'm gonna go back to that view. Um, no, that I get for sure. It's weird because normally people hate their ID images. It's funny. Got some fish. All right. I mean, that fishing pole, that fishing rod is just not as evident as I'd hoped it would be. What if I go back into this layer and I just go, mm, that's not enough. Um, opacity, 100%. I think it's a little bit better hand. The redness. 
Let's go to the bottom layer. Time to see the image that will haunt me forever. <laughs> They should haunt you forever. DMV screwed up. What the hell? Man. Alright, I need to eat something. It has been long enough. And, uh... I have, you know, two minutes and 30 seconds before the next half hour runs out anyways. So I am going to jump off and do one more exercise. Oh, there goes the freaking shoulder. You guys are great. Much love. Thanks for hanging out. Tony, if you're still around, you're the best. Or one of the best. Um, <laughs> wait, I should too. Imagine. Yeah, they're, they're, they're great. It's uh, Nash. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. And um, hopefully, you know, it'll be uh, a, 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 a stream tonight with Marlton and being awesome at Rat Game because rat game. Uh, 